All right, in this video, I want to show you how to do what we call a frequency count using what we call a histogram in Microsoft Excel. Now, the first thing that you have to do is you have to install the data analysis tool pack on your computer. So uh, here I'm in Excel 2010. I'm going to pick on File and then Options. Under Options, I'm going to pick on Add-ins. Then under Add-ins, I'm going to pick on the word Go over here. And then you want to make sure that this one is checked. If it's not checked, you want to check it where it says Analysis Tool Pack. And then click on OK. Now, when you're done with that, sometimes it might ask you to uh, install it. But uh, what should happen is uh, under the Insert menu, you'll pick on Insert up here. Then way over here on the right hand side, uh, I'm sorry, not under Insert, uh, pick on Data is what I meant to say. Pick on Data and then way over here you'll have something that's called Data Analysis. So that, that wouldn't appear unless you just install it like I just showed you. Okay, so here's the scenario. We want to, um, with all these transactions, let's say there's over 200 transactions here. I want to see how many fall between 0 and $10. How many fall between um, 10 and 25, between 25 and 50, and between 50 and 100? So I have my data over here. Then the next thing that you need is you, you have a separate section that lists uh, the ranges that you want to count. So that's why over here I have um, 0, 10, 25, 50, and 100. Those are the actual ranges that I want to count. You could have as many of those as you would need in whatever number range that it might be. Okay, so let's try this out. I'm going to pick in the data menu. Now you come way over here and you pick on data analysis. Now the data analysis tools are all about statistical analysis. To get more information on these, you can pick on help over here, of course. Or maybe I'll make more videos about some of these other features. But in this case, I'm going to pick on histogram and click on OK. Now, uh, at this point, you're going to fill in this screen. The input range is going to be my column of numbers, uh, which in this case is column E. So I'll highlight column E. Now, the bin range is where I have these numbers on the side. Those are the ranges that I want to count. So for the bin range, I'm going to highlight um, from, in this case, H10 to H14. Now, you want to, uh, in my case, I'm going to pick on labels. Usually, the data analysis tools like uh, numbers only. But if you notice column E, column E does have a, a column label called US dollar amount. So that's why it's important for me to pick labels. Otherwise, it probably wouldn't work if, it, if I didn't pick that. Uh, now, I'm going to put the result on a new worksheet. And usually, I'll make a chart output of, uh, out of that as well. So the important feature here is the input range. That's where your data is. The bin range is, you know, the list of number, the, the list of ranges that you want to actually count. I do have the word labels checked because I do have a label on the top of column E, as we can see. I'm going to put this on a new worksheet, and I'm going to put it into a chart output as well. The way I got into the screen was I picked in the data menu, and then data analysis, and this is called a histogram. I'm going to click on OK. Now here's the result. So here's how to read this. There's actually 106 items between 0 and 10. There's 43 between 10 and 25. There's 47 items between 25 and 50. And there's 13 items between the values of 50 and 100. Now if there were any that were more than 100, that would fall under the more category. But you can see I don't have any of those. So pretty quickly, in less than 5 minutes, I was able to get a frequency count how many fall between each range, and then obviously it made a chart out of that as well. So that's how we use a histogram to give you a frequency count here in Excel 2010.